All right. So you have the question. I've got social security income. You know, I, I, I did, I paid my dues. I worked hard for many years and I made it to a certain age and I qualified for social security and I started getting money from the government. That's your benefit for living long enough in this country. So you got social security, they sent you something and you need to know if you have to pay any taxes on it. It's actually a complicated question. This is the first year that I added the social security benefits worksheet for line 6A and 6B. These are all formulas. You actually don't have to do anything if you've already filled out the rest of your 1040. Like this is actually all automatic. So I programmed it into the 1040 tax wrap, which is the application that I'm giving away for free. Once it's ready to be given away, I'm still working on it. But we're going to talk about Social Security benefits today and how easy it is to simulate in this file and what we've done. So this is the question we're talking about. We're talking about question 6A, 6B, Social Security benefits. So let's say they sent you the form with your Social Security benefits on it. There's going to be a box like line three, a box 3A, I think it is. So you type now the number of how much it is. And you add it for, if it's you and your spouse, you got to add both the numbers. So let's say that it's exactly, let's call it $63,000 for two people, all right, on a return that is married filing jointly. That's what we're going with, okay? Now, let's assume that was all the income that you had for the year. Nobody was working anymore and there's no investment income, nothing. There's just that. So we put that in there. Well, now we have this line here. It says jump to line 6A, 6B. I've added all the questions that are all related to the schedule here, and it's all formulas. And the, the way you can see that is everything that's a dark background colored cell is a formula. It's only the clear ones that you need to type stuff in. So this is all formulas. And it's just doing a bunch of calculations, chopping up your income and figuring out if any of it is taxable. And at 63,000, it's not taxable. It looks like you're good because amount on line eight is less than the amount on line seven, barely. <laughs> is the amount, amount on line eight, the amount on line eight, no, it's not, it's not less, which, makes, which means that you're barely at the threshold right here, and it means you don't have to pay any tax, but let me show you how easy it is to simulate, because the final number of how much of your social security benefits are taxable relates to whether or not you have other income and other types of amounts or deductions or whatever on your return. So let's pretend that somebody's still working and made $30,000 at their job this year too. Then all of a sudden, 20875 is all of a sudden taxable of that $63,000. That, that's what happens is it changes based on what type of other income and deductions you have and where you have them on the return. It also matters what your filing status is. So if we change your filing status to single and we change your social security benefits to 33,000, let's say, you don't know anything right now, but if you had some dividend income or something, um, I have a bunch of different schedules we could type stuff in, but let's say, let's say you got like pensions and annuities of, of let's call it 15,000 or something. Does that change? No, it doesn't. What if there were 50,000? No, even... Oh, sorry. What if the taxable amount of those pensions was 15000 Yeah. As soon as you start adding other income, you potentially have taxable income on your Social Security wages. It's going to automatically do that formula. So to take a look again at how I did that, I'll browse through each formula really, really quickly. It's super boring, but this is what you would have to do if you did it manually. Is you have to figure out what your actual Social Security benefits were, divide them by 50% or times them by 50%. Add a bunch of stuff from Form 1040, all these different lines here. That's what this formula does. Enter amount from line 2A here. Uh, combine the lines together. See how it's all just formulas. Enter the lines from Schedule 1. Now you got to look at Schedule 1, which we also have in this file in a different area. And, you know, that's basically what you have to do is a lot of this chopping, and that's how you get there. So with those formulas, it makes it very easy and you can just choose your filing status and type in your social security amount and any other income and stuff like that. And you get not only what your taxable social security is, you also get a full preview of what your return is and how much you owe. Oh, look, this person owes $530. 
because they didn't have anything withheld. But let's say they did have something withheld. Let's say they had $800 withheld, right? So $800 withheld for the year. Then all of a sudden they'd be getting a refund of 270 bucks. It's that easy to do this file is all the forms are in here. And I will put this up for download and it will be free because it's a, an educational tool. It's not meant to do your taxes completely for you. It's meant to simulate them to a very high degree to give you an idea of what you're filing. And then I recommend you use certified tax software. This is essentially a database for simulation. It's really helpful if you wanna estimate your taxes in a subsequent year by knowing some income amounts ahead of time, what you think you're gonna be doing in terms of business income or whatever. It's really, really great for simulations because it does all these types of formulas automatically. And I keep adding to it. That's the only reason I'm not directly putting up a download link right after this video. I need to do more work on the child tax credit form and I need to open up a couple other things because I just haven't tested it in its entirety yet. And I don't want to give it out until I start running it and actually using it and testing it against uh, against fillable forms on you know the IRS website and stuff like that, because that's a great way to test it is just using it to fill it out one return at a time online, because it really is supposed to give you everything automated that it can give you and really identify just areas you need to enter stuff. Anyway, enough talking, but understand that Social Security benefits and how much is taxable is related to other income and deductions on your return. You need to put it in here and this formula, this file will do it automatically for you. But as you can see, it's complicated. Like at what point does someone with $33,000 in Social Security, how much money can they make before that money starts getting taxable? Thousand bucks, 10,000. Yeah, at 10,000 bucks, they got to start. Some of this becomes taxable income right here. So there's certainly a threshold that has been named by the IRS in terms of what your status is and how much you got. And you, if you start making other money, that stuff starts, a portion of that starts getting taxed. All right. Well, taxes should be easy. We're doing our best and I'll keep, keep watching out because there'll be more videos coming um, and eventually a download link for this file. Okay. Taxes should be easy. We're making it so.